I'm Musakho. I'm proud to be a Cambodian. I'm proud to be a Cambodian woman. I left home when I was 18 years old. In 1970, the war from Vietnam spread to Cambodia. And we didn't have any choice but to move on. My parents died somewhere among the one million or so Cambodians in one of the killing fields of Cambodia. I suffered, I went on in San Francisco knowing always that I wanted to come back. In 1989, I came back home to Cambodia. I was no longer the innocent young adolescent. There was something else inside me. It was what I saw of Cambodia. There was still a country without electricity, without school, without infrastructure. People were sick and so on. I wanted change. I wanted justice. I wanted better lives for the children, for the women of Cambodia. To the world, Cambodia is a country that has come out of the killing fields. The reports from the government look great, but if you go just a little bit below the scene, you see human trafficking. Our women and our children sold. Why? Because their parents are kept in poverty. Why, at the same time, the richest are getting even more rich? The powerful are getting even more powerful through a system of governance, of leadership that has very little tolerance for the voices of dissidents. The development policies at this moment don't give the poor a chance. When I talk about the poor, I talk about majority of the people. In the name of development, the government has sold this whole community to a rich private company. And the reason why they don't want to move because there are people living with HIV and AIDS. The hospital is across the street. The government, the private company, want them to move 25 kilometers away from the services that are available to them from the medicine they need, from the education of their children, and so on. It will take them $5 a day to go back and forth from the new place to the city. These people make less than a dollar a day. They have lived through everything, and now they're living with HIV and AIDS. In Cambodian culture, there's a proverb that says, men are gold, but women are just a piece of white cloth. Gold, when it is dropped in mud, you can pick it up, it still shines. You just rubbed it. But a piece of white cloth, if it is stained just for a little bit, it is stained forever. Meaning that our women who have been sold to prostitution, women who dare to divorce their husbands, are no longer that white piece of cloth. I believe that in this context of rights, it also has to be wrapped in social, cultural values. But there are values in any culture that keep women two steps, three steps behind the men. That's when the values need to change. Although the fight is very hard at moments, I truly believe that change can happen only when the Cambodian people in every village feel that sense of power as well. So I am caught in this long journey, a journey for change for Cambodia.